Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I would like to show you guys an unboxing of my battery. It's a 72 volt, 60 amp hour battery. Let's take a look at it right quick. As you guys can see, this is a very good packaging to protect the batteries from damage during shipping. Here is one of the battery and um, just one pack on its own. It's um, 10S, 60, 63, about 63 amp hour. I know I said um, 60 amp hour earlier, but I think it's a 63 amp hour. So uh, uh, it should discharge about 386 amps, I believe. Um, that's the peak current. I think continuous current is about 180 amps. That's more than enough for my application. So there it is, 72 volt, um, 63 amp hour. It's either 60 or 63 amp hour. They told me 63 amp hour. But, um, it might be about 60 amp hour. So that's the battery pack. My plan is to put like a active balancer on each pack on the side and um, just run it without no BMS and just set up my um, controller to have a low voltage cutoff and I should be good and that's it so I hope you guys like this thanks hey guys I'm back again so um, my plan is to mount the batteries underneath the uh, frame right here 
go. And mount this like this. But I realized uh, on this side, the battery's a little bit wider. So um, on this side, I don't have much room. So this is what I'm thinking right now. So I can either mount the batteries like this on this side and just cut out a little bit of the uh, the mount for the motor. I have more room, so that way I can mount it this side and it doesn't rub on the, on the side of the frame. I was also thinking about cutting this, but I was like, it's it's gonna affect the, uh, the structural rigidity of the frame, so I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna, I'm either gonna, you know, cut this out or just grind this down just a little bit and see how it works but uh, don't forget to uh, stay till the end to the end of the video I'm gonna show you guys uh, a video of the bike running and uh, you know the bike runs pretty good it's just the uh, first test of the bike and it runs pretty good just stay tuned for that video This is what I came up with. So what I did was cut out this part, cut it all out, and um, that gave me more room for my batteries. So the next step is to uh, start to fabricate the battery box, and um, we're gonna see how that goes. This is what the uh, battery looks like on the frame right now. Um, the next step is to fabricate a battery box. The battery is going to stick out just a little bit, not too bad. I got to move the battery in some more. But it should st stick out just, just about a couple of inches on the side. And um, yeah. doesn't stick out too much so next step is to make the batter box and I'll see you guys out there peace Yep, come on.